look who is back in the Bloom Kitchen, the Salsa Queen, as we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month right here on Bloom. And Bloom starts now. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month on Bloom, and our next guest is a true inspiration to people around the world. From a homeless aspiring food entrepreneur to a multi million dollar fresh salsa and dips queen to a now internationally recognized speaker, we are super excited to welcome Maggie Cook back to Bloom. So great to see you again, Maggie. So great to see you too. So I always love to give folks kind of a little bit of a refresher on Maggie's backstory. It is amazing to me how you overcame so much in life to become who you are today and you help other people, you know, kind of live it, you know, live up to that. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your backstory. So I was born in an orphanage in Mexico. I have 68 brothers and sisters. Uh, I lived in the middle of the mountains in Michoacan, Mexico, and sort of secluded. Um, very different kind of life, a lot of suffering, a lot of uh, different things that happened, but I always use my mind to think myself outside of that place. And I did it for 18 years long. And, you know, it's just to prove that no matter what adversity you have, you can use your mind to transform your life. And I do it with uh, my speaking, and I mean, you know, I started with the salsa company. Yeah, but, the uh, salsa company. I mean, the salsa company backstory is fascinating too, because you won a contest and you use that small amount of money to launch really an empire. Yes. yes. Tell, uh, tell me about that. So I was homeless right out of college, and I uh, somebody entered me into a salsa contest in West Virginia, and I won by unanimous vote. And that was my aha moment. So I started a fresh, fresh salsa company. Back then, there was no fresh salsa. It was like Tostito salsa, the mm -hmm, cooked mm -hmm. salsa. And people loved it. And I got so many rejections from supermarkets because they didn't understand the fresh concept of it. But once they tried it, my biggest first uh, uh, client was the Whole Foods Market. After 90 people rejected me and said, no, we don't want your products. Whole Foods stepped up to the plate. Whole Foods stepped up to the plate. And that year went from being homeless to making about $12,000 a year to selling to friends and mm -hmm. people to making $1.9 million just with the salsa, just for Whole Foods. And then what happened is because I had that status, now everybody was calling and that's really how it grew. That's incredible. All right, so I wanna talk about the three R's and all that, but let me get you started on the, on the salsa itself and the freshness. What do you use to make your secret salsa recipe that is hugely popular across the country right now? So it's basically a pico de gallo salsa. And what I've added is some secret recipe ingredients. I have a secret sauce that I created for that, and it's more infused in vinegars, lime, the natural acidic stuff rather than um, preservatives. Mm -hmm. So it became very popular because of that. Uh, and back then I started with 15 day shelf life, then it grew to 30 with technology, and then to 60 with hydrostatic high pressure processing, submitting the product to uh, levels uh, below sea level mm -hmm. to kill all the micro microorganisms. That's why we were all over the country. I was wondering about that yeah. because the freshness, you did that through break, uh, breakthrough technology. Yes, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Okay, so show me how you put it all together. So today we're gonna make uh, guacamole. All right. And um, I actually came out with guacamole, um, create a product called guaca salsa. I remember and, that. Yeah, yeah, and it was a layer of guacamole with salsa on top, yep. sealed it, and people could just mix mm -hmm. it. But guacamole is so simple. I will tell you the simpler, the better. Okay, I I'm mean, with you on that. Yes, <laughs> yes. So uh, what, what I have here is you can either take a pico de gallo de salsa and put it here and mix it, mm -hmm. or you can start with guacamole or uh, avocados, and then some Roma tomatoes. And honestly, some people love a lot, some people love a little bit less, so you kind of have to... Gauge it's, it's it up to what you. you like. It's up to you. And a little bit of uh, cilantro, just a little handful. And the next thing that, that I'm going to put in is called shallots. I don't know if you ever heard oh, of it. I love them. It's this right here. Yes. It's if you married a onion with um, a garlic. garlic. Yeah, I use them <laughs> all the, the time. <laughs> it's the best. So I'm going to drop this in here. Yeah, it's got such a good taste. It's, it's so much smoother. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, that looks and good. And then we're going to put this right here which is a vinegar it's a jalapeno vinegar oh. this does it 
This does the taste. And you can get this jalapeno vinegar, and it'll keep it mild, because I know you like mild, but yes. if you want it spicier, you can chop up the peppers. There's a product like a Mexican, right. you know, That's like great. jalapenos. Yes. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I'm going to do it the chef style. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and some pepper, and that's it. And again, you know, the simpler, the better. Sometimes I just do guacamole with And the you jalapeno. can freeze this, you say? Yeah, you can freeze it. It'll Let's just be creamier. It'll last forever. This but is I so make, good. I make gallons of this, and I vacuum, vacuum seal it as well, which is really it, nice. It's so smooth and delicious. <laughs> like, words can't describe how great this is. Maggie. As always, it's so great seeing you. And thank you for helping us celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes. Your, and your incredible story. You're so aspiring to so many folks. I hope you'll come back again soon. Absolutely. Thank you so right. much. <laughs> and if you want more information, you can head to MaggieCook.com. We'll be back with more Bloom right after this.